Now to continuing coverage of one of Tampa's most notorious murder cases. This week, a murder case that shocked the Bay Area may come to an end nearly 20 years later. A judge is set to decide if Stephen Lorenzo should live or die. He admits to the brutal rape, torture and murder of two men. And hours from now, Lorenzo will be back in court for his hearing. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio takes the story from there. Stephen Lorenzo told the judge for years he is not guilty, but now he's admitting to killing Jason Galehouse and Michael Wachholz, and he also wants the death penalty from the judge, something loved ones of the two men believe he deserves. You scumbag. That's exactly what you are. It's a day these grieving mothers, Pam Williams and Ruth Wachholz, wish to see. He should no longer breathe. My son doesn't, so why should he? Their children were 26 when they vanished after a visit to a nightclub in 2003. It was inside this house of horror where Steven Lorenzo says he drugged, tortured, and killed them. That means Sitting before the judge, he detailed it all in a 147-page document. I wanted to go through it. There were things I needed to review. Lorenzo waived his right to a jury trial and is defending himself implying in a note the case would go nowhere with or without trial. For 20 years, he's breathed and lived, and Michael hasn't. Michael's body was found abandoned in a Jeep, but Jason's body still missing. Lorenzo says he dismembered him. And I wish to God somebody would cut you up in pieces because that's what you deserve. While Pam Williams isn't able to bury her son, her wish for vindication may come true nearly two decades later. I want to see him get the death penalty. Nothing less, no deals, the death penalty. That hearing is scheduled to start Monday morning, but the sentencing is not set until Friday. Right now, Lorenzo is serving time for crimes also connected to Michael and Jason's death. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And Lorenzo has a co-defendant, Scott Swiker. Swiker already pleaded guilty and is serving a life sentence. He also testified in Lorenzo's hearing this month.